So this myth is called rainbow eggs. The queen of Sparta hung her robe on a bush and dived into the stream. The water was icy cold, but Leda sang as she washed herself. Today, something good was going to happen. She could just feel it. At that very moment, Zeus sailed by on a cloud and looked down. He saw Leda's perfectly pearly arms raised above her head as she dived and fell in love at once. Quickly, he summoned Aphrodite. She was very sympathetic. Love was her business, after all. If I turn into a hawk and you turn into a swan, I can chase you into Leda's arms, she said. I know she loves birds and she won't be able to resist stroking your soft white feathers. The swan flapped frantically up the stream towards Leda with the hawk swooping at its tail. Oh, you poor thing, cried Leda. I'll protect you. Shoo, shoo, you horrible, horrible hawk. The hawk swerved away as Leda flapped her hands at it and the swan nestled into her arms. What a beautiful creature you are, she said, smoothing its ruffled feathers and kissing the top of its elegant head. Why, I'm quite in love, I'm quite in love with you already. Nine months later, Leda produced two beautiful eggs. The first shone with bright rainbow colours and out of it came the lovely Helen of Sparta, who later caused so much trouble to the Greeks and Trojans and her sister, Clymenestra. The second had a pattern of swirling silver mist, and out of it came the two twin brothers, Castor and Polydeuces, who became famous heroes. When they died, Zeus took them up to the heavens and made them into twin stars, where they still shine today, hand in hand. Although she loved all her children very much, Leda was most surprised to have laid a pair of eggs and she vowed never to have anything to do with birds again for the rest of her life. And that is the end of that myth. Bit of a strange one, bit of a strange ending. I wonder why we are told this myth. 